Okay, guys, welcome. Uh, I've been banned again from Robocraft. Uh, decided to check into it. Uh, been checking into it for a long time. Finally got a message from Valve. They said that it wasn't them. They're associated with Robocraft, but they don't use their anti-cheat for it. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, got in contact with the people at Jamjet or whatever the hell. The people here who make Robocraft. Uh, messaged on the forum, showed video, told them that I've been having issues. A lot of people responded back. There was a lot of crap in my video about an icon being in the right hand corner. Which, by the way, was an FPS counter. I uh, showed them all the programs and processes running. It was pretty laughable. Even a guy here, the animated icon is just a shadow play FPS counter. Laughed my ass off. Uh, they said I've been ESC banned, uh, that I had modified some kind of file on my system, and that apparently I was hacking Bubblecraft. Okay, so I asked them how the fuck do I fix that, what the hell are you talking about? I already validated my files, nothing's come through, I don't understand. This guy says you've modified Windows by the look of it. Anti-cheat malicious software, blah 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 blah. Which makes sense because I'm a developer and I have modified. Like in my net frames, it's completely modified. It has to be because I'm a developer. All right. My Java is completely modified. It has to be because I'm a developer. I have many APIs that are set up on this computer so that I can develop things. All right. So some of that, what they were saying, made sense to me. So I said, you know what? I just need to contact these guys and say, what the fuck? Why are y'all flogging this? And I figured that would happen, you know, because for a while there, I thought that a shitty-ass admin was just banning me. Because the story is, the first time I was banned, I was killing a guy over and over and over again. And he wasn't bad, he was pretty decent at the game, but he was playing with a fucking 500 CPU. Even though he was, uh, you know, obviously of a higher rank, you could tell. He started going on about the fact that he was an admin, and he found it suspicious that I kept killing him. I mean, forgive me for just being better than you, you son of a bitch. Uh, later on that game, I killed him again and I got banned. And all my friends were like, what the fuck? It was a temporary ban. Figured it was for, uh, for cursing once we asked in the forums. One of my friends asked in the forums and they said they probably banned him for cursing. So big fucking deal. I make another account. Even though I've never spoken in chat before or said anything, I said, all right, well, the temporary ban will eventually go away. Nope, it turned into a normal ban. So my second account, a day later, suspiciously gets banned. My third account, a day later, suspiciously gets banned. Fourth account, a day later, after I made it, it suspiciously gets banned. And now this account, three days later, suspiciously gets banned. Uh, so I'm very, very weary at this point. I've only played this game for nine days and I've already been banned four or five times. Uh, so I'm like, what the fuck? And I get a response from this guy, Dan. He says, thank you for contacting Free Jam Support. You account are being suspended due to EAC detecting I want cheese.net hacking software auto detected on you machine. These banned cannot be reversed. Thanks, Dan Support Jammer. Uh, first of all, Dan, there's a guy on the forums who makes no money and can respond to me uh, with perfect English uh, and in-depth responses. You are fucking paid to be a support admin. You were paid to be technical support. And you cannot use basic fucking English skills to respond to a customer. It's, uh, it's understandable that this is a free-to-play game that is actually pay to win, it appears. But, what the fuck? I mean, okay. So, given that Dan seemed like the smartest person in the world to me, I decided, what the hell. Might as well check up on it because, you know, Dan, he's got his shit together and of course he knows, so. We came over here to I Want Cheats. We searched for, first we come over here to their cheat list. All right, I want to tell you as a WordPress developer, uh, this, this is beautiful. This whole web page is beautiful. Whoever this company is has their shit together. 
And I tell you, if you're going to buy hacks, buy from these guys. Uh, I could tell you, because as a WordPress developer, this site is very sleek. It's very unique. It's very modern. It's a, it's a beautiful site. It really is. It gets what it needs done. And uh, it's a very nice WordPress site. It's just, I'm impressed. As a fellow developer, I am very impressed. If they have their website development down like this, I am sure that their hacks will be fucking amazing. Anyways, so we come through here, and I'll go through slow, because I know some of you are going to bitch, I didn't get to see. And we have all sorts of games here that are hacked. All right. But what we don't have in this entire list is a RoboCraft hack. We don't have a Counter-Strike hack either. We have a Source hack. Very weird. Why the hell would you have Source and not Counter-Strike? I'm not going to question these guys, though. Anyways. Uh, so, there's no hacks for Webocraft there. So, let's search. Let's search the entire website. It's homepage. It's hacks. It's our games. It's purchase. It's forums. It's cheat engine. It's facts. And it's blogs. Nothing. Let's try again with uh, capitals. Nothing. Let's try this robo. Okay, so we got something on robo. Uh, Call of Duty. Okay. Overwatch. Okay. Warframe, more Call of Duty, DayZ, have a page two, don't fret. Titanfall, Black Ops, Modern Warfare. Hmm. There's no RoboCraft on this entire website associated with this entire company in any way, shape, or fucking form. Okay. But I'm apparently somehow using this website to hack RoboCraft. It's very uh, disturbing. Sorry, I hold shift to record so every time I click on something it opens in a new window. Anyways. So now we'll go back to uh, the page. Basically, I responded. I won't bother arguing or telling you that I am using www.whatthefuckevercheat.net.com.org or .us to hack your game. I will however point out to you and YouTube that after we just ventured over to check out this amazing website called iwantcheats.net, we found a lot of interesting things. I now know how to become a better Call of Duty. Maybe finally get out of silver in CSGO. What me and all my YouTube buddies couldn't find on the website, Robocraft hacks. I mean, we browsed the games they offered, we searched the website, we took a look at the site map, we registered and looked on the forums. We didn't register and look on the forums, it's just more dramatic that way. When you do a site search, it will find everything on forums or not. We were unable to find a service offered for Robocraft, strangely enough. We found one request for a hack in which the developer responded. Robocraft doesn't have a player base. We are in the business of making money. Okay, so that's a lie. I took a little stab, cheap shot at him. But you know what? This fucking game's fucked me over so many times that I'm already aggravated and pissed off. So you know what? I think a cheap shot was in order. Of course, after seeing how cold and official your response was to me, I can understand. I have filed the necessary complaints and document it on YouTube. You can't ban an account for breach of terms when it hasn't breached any terms. All right. To, to be fair with you guys, I have a suspicion, a deep suspicion, that Mr. Dan here is actually the guy that's been banning me. I have a suspicion that I fought Dan. Because the guy that was the admin, the alleged admin, which I didn't believe at first until I actually got banned, in the game we were playing, 
Didn't know how to spell either. He was always putting you instead of your. Just like this fucking guy. Alright? So, uh, in as short and to the point and cold and lying as his response was, uh, I decided that, that Dan was probably the admin. So I have contacted EAC. The reason why I contacted EAC is because mm, this is a little deeper than, than what it runs. I can accept being banned if I were using hacks. I cannot be accepted except being told by a admin and a support agent that I am using a hack system that doesn't even offer hacks for the fucking game I'm playing. Okay? Or any other fucking game I play. Besides DayZ, and hackers on DayZ are fucking faggots. Let's, let's just face the truth. I am swearing so much, I apologize. So this is the end of our little story. Uh, in conclusion, don't play Robocraft. Fuck Robocraft. Don't download Robocraft. These guys are insane. This is an abuse of power. It's, it, it's absolutely absurd. I've given them all the information, everything that I could, been as open with them as I can. I've recorded. I've done everything that I could for these guys, and they still come up with different excuses. At first, I was cursing or something was going on like that. Okay, and then I got banned several times the day after, which doesn't sound like a damn uh, cheat system alert to me. When a damn cheat system alerts to somebody, it bans them right there on the spot. Everybody knows that. We've seen it. We've seen it happen. It scans your game real fucking time. It doesn't ban you the next day. All right. But this piece of shit. This piece of shit, I believe, has been banning me. And search my IP. I believe that he wasn't on for a few days, and that's why the last account I made actually made it a few days. Uh, he wasn't there to ban it. So he sent me this thing from this website, and I don't know how the hell he knows what this website is. But he should probably have checked the website that he was going to send to make sure that it actually had cheats for the fucking game. It does not. Thank you.